Hey, fourth graders. Today we're going to stretch and explore different ways we might want to create our landscape. You can experiment with collage like I'm doing right now. Um, you're just going to do this on a little paper and I want you to maybe stretch and explore two different ways you might want to do your finished product. Um, this is a good way that artists can experiment and you can try different art mediums. Um, so the first way is collage. Now, I was doing this pretty fast, so you want to really think about how you're going to build it up in layers, okay? Um, and think about how do you want to cut the paper, tear it, how do you want to manipulate it. Next way I'm going to explore is with temper cakes. Um, you do need to think about layers in this. The scaling kind of started with the background and then added on top of it. Well, what I realized is some things I could paint on top of it. Um, due to what colors they were. So you do need to think about that um, and plan ahead. Um, but again, I was just stretching and exploring and from my mistake, I could share with you that maybe I should have done the boat first and then the water. Um, but you'll see I work with that and you'll see in just a minute, I'm gonna use a dry brush and I'm gonna soak and absorb, take out the color. So even though I didn't quite like it, Ms. Scalin figured out a way to make it um, where I um, liked it better. So I learned how to fix the problem and make it still work. Um, you do need to think about what colors when you're doing um, paint, what colors if they mix that they might not make a pretty color. Now I'm stretching and exploring with oil pastels. You can see this time I decided to put my boats in first and build my background. I'm still thinking about colors that I could blend together. I'm still thinking about foreground, middle ground, background, which you are supposed to be thinking about in this project. So you need to make sure you're really paying attention to that. Um, so Stretch and Explore is a great way that you could try different ideas without using a huge piece of paper and a ton of supplies and you could think about how you might want to do your final piece of work. And then you have these little mini pieces of artwork too um, that you could save. I hope this helps you learn and experiment and try new ways to create your art. Have fun!